In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I made over $7,000 on Fiverr as a beginner. I'm gonna show you inside my account. I'm gonna show you how you can set up your account and make money in as little as your first week. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? Nick Newsom here. Thank you so much for clicking on my video, watching this video. Um, I can't wait to share this information with you. Fiverr has been a really good resource of income for me as I build my business online. Now I do a couple different things online, but this video is gonna be all about Fiverr and I'm gonna show you how you can get started, how you can make money in as little as your first week. I'm gonna take you inside my account, show you my earnings, show you the stats, just go through the basics to give you an idea of what it looks like when you start working inside of Fiverr. Let's get into it right now. I'm gonna take you inside my account and show you my seller dashboard. So in a second, we're going to go through uh, how to open an account, how to start your first gig, and then how to make money in as little as your first week. So when I got started on Fiverr, you know, I can't even remember why I got started on Fiverr, but I did. At first, I wasn't really making any money. And the problem with that and how I got around that is like, I started watching some YouTube videos like, how am I going to make money on Fiverr? Because I really wanted to like, I saw this as a great revenue stream. And I'll tell you what it really is today. Okay, now that you've seen my analytics, you've seen my earnings, let's go and look at how do you open an account? So when you go to Fiverr.com, this is what you're going to see uh, for business, become a seller. So right here is like, this is what you want to do. You want to become a seller simple simple process you know you're going to have some information here you can learn about some other people that make some money on here it'd be cool if i had my picture up here question and answers you can find all your questions and answers here how do i get paid if you have you know how do i price my service this is a key factor i'm going to go over this one number one tip so you got to go to the questions and answers there you can find out anything you need to know here's some tutorials so then and then here you're going to want to enter your name your you know, pick one, right? You just pick one here, what you want to do. I'm not going to sign in because I'm already a member. So I'm just going to go back to my account, but this is what you're going to want to do. I'll put my link in the description. If you want to, um, you come right over to Fiverr. So, and start and open an account, which you probably should just to get the ball rolling, open up your account, start a seller account. Um, you can figure out what gig you're going to do later. So here we go. This is inside the seller dashboard on Fiverr. Uh, you know, so this is what the dashboard is going to look like. You have your, your, your picture here. You know, you can either put a logo or your picture. I highly I recommend that you put a picture of you just because um, I, I feel like a face is a lot better than a logo here. They don't know who you are, so it's better to put a face to the gig. That way people can feel a bit more comfortable with you. Now, one of the biggest things that I have found on Fiverr is the fact that like I, I reside in the United States. I find a lot of people in the US or English speaking customers, they want somebody that can, they can communicate well with. A lot of the sellers are going to be overseas and you may be overseas and there is a communication barrier and a lot of people aren't comfortable with that. Just something that, to know. And I don't care where you are, but you should put your picture there so they know who they're talking to. Fiverr is going to judge you. They, they, they want to keep it professional. They have to protect their name. So you have to be very professional on how you communicate. Uh, inbox response rate. So that means that like up here in the messages, someone's going to message me and this is just an inbox. This isn't a customer yet. They don't become a customer until they order. And I'll show you my gigs. I'm going to show you everything. So don't worry about that. So the inbox response rate, like, so somebody messages me and they're like, Hey, can you do X, Y, Z for me? Or, Hey, I have a question, right? You want to respond to them right away. Now I'm going to show you some things that inside the messages, uh, you can create automated responses. Well, they're not automated, but you can create preset responses. So all you have to do is click a button, you know, it, it just makes it easier and when I first started, I didn't even know that that was there. I didn't realize it was there or maybe because Fiverr improves their platform almost all the time. Like I'm always seeing improvements and I know that they're putting a lot of investment back into their platform right now. So I didn't know that it was there, but it's really great to have that now. And I can't wait to show that to you. That being said, I will say that of all the, all the gig platforms that you can work on, I find Fiverr to be the best. As a buyer on Fiverr, like sometimes I do buy things. I, I, I love their platform as well. I've been to other other platforms like uh, freelancer. I didn't appreciate theirs too much in Upwork. I don't think, I don't think it was very good either. I just noticed that Fiverr was good. They put a lot of pictures. It's just very user friendly and easy to use. So, and I think they're the leader in the gig, in this gig economy, this online gig world. That being said, let's get back into it. So my inbox response time is five hours. That's in yellow. So I, I'm guessing that's a little bit low, a little bit behind. I wish they would like ease up on that because I do respond. I try to respond very quickly. It looks like I have a five-star rating overall. Uh, order response rate. So when I get an order, I guess I'm responding very well, delivered on time. 
uh, 100%. Order completion, 90%. I don't know why it says that because I had I had a cancellation on an order because they ordered it and then they're like, they didn't wanna do it, so they canceled it. So I'm really getting hurt there and I don't think that that's fair that that is like that. But there, there's some things that are gonna happen inside the game here, inside Fiverr that you just can't do anything about. So, and you can always contact Fiverr. They seem to be very responsive on their on their customer service. You know, like when you ask a question, you're not gonna hear crickets. By the way, guys, if you're getting any value here, if you enjoy seeing this, go ahead and smash up that like button. And if you wanna see more videos on how to make money on Fiverr, consider subscribing and also leave a comment below. Let me know what you wanna learn so I can make that video for you. Also on the dashboard here, Three steps for you, how to build better on Fiverr, okay? I think this is really good. So if anybody's here, it doesn't have any experience, you can always use, um, they have courses here that you have to purchase, but they are good courses, especially if you don't have any skills. So that's gonna give you a brand new look on how to do something plus, which I think is really good and something I plan on doing in the future. When you take a course and you complete the course, you're gonna get what they call is like a badge and they're gonna give you that badge to put in your gig to show buyers that you are, you've taken the course, you know the subject and you know, Know, that you are a professional. So I think that's really good, especially as a new beginner. You have to invest a little bit of money, but that money's gonna come back to you, right? So you're gonna put a little money in, but it's really gonna help your success on Fiverr. So I highly recommend that. By the way, there's a link in the description below if you want to sign up for some courses or just take a look, uh, take a look at their courses, the link down in the description. And then become a seller, watch this free online course to learn how to create an outstanding service experience for your buyer and grow your career as an online freelancer. So, and then you can watch the free course. They really do have a lot of resources that help you out. And that's another thing I really like about Fiverr. I think they're really dedicated to your success, obviously, because they want to succeed as well. So I think it's really great. Fiverr is the place to be. They won't just leave you drowning in the pool with no life raft. Get noticed on social media. And I haven't done this yet, uh, right here, this first tip. And the reason I haven't done this yet is because if I'm going to promote myself on social media, I don't want to have to pay Fiverr for it. So the whole, the whole reason that I pay Fiverr, they take a 20% cut of all your gigs. After you complete the order and, and the customer pays, they take a cut. And the reason I don't want to put this on social media, because if I'm going to promote myself on my social media, I don't need to pay Fiverr 20% cut. Now, when Fiverr's bringing me the customers, yeah, I'm happy to pay that 20% because that's they're doing the advertising. They're bringing in the customers, right? All you have to do is figure out how to get the customer to pay you to click your gig and order from you, which I'm going to show you how to do, right? This is one of the best tips I ever learned on Fiverr. I'm going to show you. So make sure you stay until the end, okay? So we're going to get into some good stuff. So let's go to the earnings and then I'll show you some analytics. This is my total income that I've earned. Now that's over $7,000 like as a beginner, okay? So it didn't take me very long to earn that money. And I'm going to show you exactly how I built up my, my profile fast. Like you can see I'm a level two seller that's actually like a highly coveted level to reach on fiverr level two is pretty good and there's one more and then there's pro seller let's go into earnings so as a level two seller i made seven thousand dollars so you don't have to earn a ton of money to reach a level two seller i've withdrawn five thousand fifty eight hundred and i've used for purchases nine nine hundred and eighty one pending clearance it takes about 14 days for your your funds to clear so that's a good thing to know that you're not even though you complete a gig right away you're not going to get paid right away it's going to take 14 days why Fiverr does that? I don't know. I'm totally clueless on that, but I have a couple theories. One, they have to make sure that you're not screwing or scamming the buyer. It just takes 14 days for the, the funds to clear. So as you can see right here, I have one that's gonna clear on July 19, 2021. And that's another $40. I have 164 waiting. Uh, I can do something with right now. What I'm probably going to do with that money is order a gig. Um, I have some work that I need done for my own business. So I'll order it right here on Fiverr and you can send it to a PayPal account. You can have a Fiverr revenue card. So I, I guess they're going to give you a debit card or something, or you can do direct deposit. I've done direct deposit, but I really prefer to go, go to my PayPal account. I have a PayPal business account and I like all my money that I earn from my business to go to that PayPal account. And then I also use my PayPal debit card for any purchases. So all my business dealings go through that PayPal account. So I don't have to worry about accounting. It makes it very simple. It's a pro tip. Let's go to the analytics. Let's see. So it just gives you an overview of what's going on and what you've earned, canceled orders, um, completed new orders, average selling price 409. So I, and it takes a while to build up that, that higher level of, of 409, but my seller level. So I'm a level two. You start out here, not knowing anything, you know, you're, you're brand new. You have to, you have to build your your credit you have to build your stats your credibility um and then you reach level one now i think like the best thing to do is try to reach level one as soon as possible and i'm going to show you how to do this this is the best secret on fiverr and you need to do this okay it's going to take a little sacrifice from you but if you want to become a, a level one seller 
fast and I suggest that you do it. You got to stay tuned for the tip because I'm going to give it, give you a really good one. And my ratings, five-star ratings. So I've done, you know, 36 five-star ratings. Let's go over to my gigs. This one's really good. It says bestseller because um, I actually like that one a lot, but this one right here. This one's made me the most money by far. Number one key factor when you want to make money on Fiverr is have a video. Okay, so what kind of gig do I want to do here on Fiverr? So let's do let's do a quick one. Let's go over here. I want to switch to buying. You're going to want to figure out what do you want to sell on Fiverr? Or maybe you want to figure out that before. It's totally up to you. I don't know. Graphics and design. So what you want to do, you can come up here and you can take a look at all the all the uh, services that they offer. Logo design, brand style guides, business cards and stationery, gaming, uh, art and illustration, web and app design. A lot of these are new. Website design, which is weird that that's new because you would think that that's been around for a while landing page design this is kind of my specialty i do like these landing page designs um, i might get into this email design people don't want to write i don't want to write but i know it's good it's good money and you can make a lot i do sales funnels so that's what i do um, but you can pick something here that you want you like they have digital marketing looking into social media marketing which i'm trying to break into now with all these you know if you're like oh man you know you come over here you look at what you want to do maybe you have some skill that you want to use here or maybe you don't have any skill so if you don't have any skill what you want to do is come over to the more section and then you can learn now if you want to learn ahead of time before you even start your gig you know before you even open an account use the link in the description below come over here pick a course that you want to learn something in for me i want to start getting into more marketing and i'm going to pick one this guy's a bestseller, Digital Marketing Fundamentals. That's a, those are great courses. With the growing demand of online business right now and e-commerce, like these are gonna be in demand. Now building sales funnels and landing pages like I do, they're not in that high demand because like anybody can do it. Now, when it comes to marketing, marketing takes a lot of work. And as a business owner, there, you usually have so many other duties that you have to do that you, you don't know marketing. And that's really what I help people with the most with is helping with their marketing. But I would come over here, pick a course that you wanna take, um, local seo that's a, that's a good one I, I definitely like that one a lot and i might just take that one because i think that's really that's really helpful for local businesses next after you figure out what you're going to do come back to your dashboard go to gigs create a new gig okay so as a seller when you become a seller you're going to start a gig um typically if you're just starting out you're not going to see anything here hey guys i just want to take a break real quick this video is starting to run a little long i realized as i was editing it you can see right there that's command central that's where i edit it's my computer i got the light set up for when i actually record videos at my computer but yeah the video was running a little bit long but i did give you some great tips in there and like i said like that number one tip is to have a video Customers have told me so many times that if I didn't have that video, they wouldn't have ordered from me. And it's made me so much money just from having that video on there. So make the video when you build out your gig, have that video there, introducing yourself, letting the customer know what you can do for them, right? That's what they need to know. What are you gonna do for them? That's what you need to tell them in that video. Have a video because people want to see that. They don't want to just see a picture. So I gave you those tips. I'm going to be putting out videos like this that are going to help you make more money on Fiverr. We're going to increase your income. We're going to increase your business. We're going to build your business together. So make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Now let's get into building the gig. Now, and I realized as I was editing the video, building out the gig is like a whole separate video. And I have like my next tip on there. And I guarantee this will work for you because it worked for me. As soon as I did this thing along with the video, but you have to do this one other thing so people actually look at you and consider you okay you're consider your gig before even they even look at the video so i want to share my tip with you on that but that's going to be in the next video all right so click the video here on the end screen if you want to continue to build out your gig and learn all the tips that i have for you okay it's going to help you it's going to help blow up your business click the video here on the end screen and i'll see you in the next video peace